Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will answer a question that a lot of you have been asking. And that question is, what is the minimum initial investment amount required to deploy a Bitscap crypto trading grid bot? And the answer is, well, actually, it depends on a few different factors. One of those factors will be the exchange that you're using. Each exchange has its own minimum order amount. And we'll be taking a look at both Binance and KuCoin today and their minimums. And another factor is the number of grids. Now, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot is actually configured and operates, it is actually extremely basic. A grid bot is made up of open limit orders. You have open limit buy orders, which are represented by the green lines that you see on the picture on your screen currently. And on the flip side, you have open limit sell orders, which are represented by the red lines, which all these open limit orders then make up your grid. And so after you deploy the grid bot, if the price goes down and starts to hit the green lines, which are open limit buy orders, the bot buys on the way down, thus it's buying low. And when the price reverses and the price starts to hit the red lines or the open limit sell orders, the bot then begins to sell and capture profit on the way back up. So at the end of the day, the way a grid bot operates is it buys low and it sells high. It buys the dip and sells the rip back up. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an automated crypto trading platform and really its main weapon is its grid bots. And if you're new to grid bot trading, you can actually get started for free. I will drop a link in the description down below. If you use my link, you will actually get access to the pro plan that Bitscap offers. And that's the plan that I actually use. And with that being said, before you actually deploy any of your grid bots to live fire, you can actually start in demo mode and do demo trading before you actually put any of your funds at risk. Now that's enough jaw jacking, let's get that question answered. And so the first place to start would actually be on the exchanges themselves. You can actually find their trading rules typically will cover minimum order size. And in this case on Binance US, it's the same with Binance. So they both have the same minimum order size and that minimum order size is 10 usdt or essentially ten dollars so anytime i deploy a bitscap grid bot using my binance exchange account the minimum order size will be 10 usdt and then i'd have to do a calculation with the number of grids and i will come up with the actual minimum required initial investment now, KuCoin is another exchange that I use frequently. They actually have a little bit of math required to determine your minimum investment amount required. And it's pretty simple math that I think even you grunts could actually figure out. And since a grid bot does limit buy and sell orders, the actual calculation is based on order amount multiplied by order price. And it needs to be greater than 0.10 USDT or greater than essentially 10 cents. So KuCoin actually has probably one of the lowest minimum order amounts that I have found through all the different exchanges. So if you're really looking to invest the minimum amount in one of these grid bots, you might take a look at KuCoin as your exchange account. Now, with that all being said, let's jump over here to Bitscap and configure the parameters for an actual grid bot on Binance and KuCoin so you can see what the actual minimum initial investment amount required would be. And don't worry, grunts, you won't actually have to do any math. Bitscap actually does the math for you. Now, if you're new to Bitscap, you will need to come over here to my exchanges. You will actually want to connect your exchange to Bitscap. You don't actually ever send any money to Bitscap. All trading is done on your own exchange. Therefore, your funds stay in your exchange account and are as safe as they can be when being held on an exchange. Again, you don't send any money to Bitscap. All orders are executed on your exchange through API keys from Bitscap. And so you will need to connect your exchange via API keys. Now, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole today. I do have videos showing you how to actually set that up in my playlist. So you might want to check out my Bitscap playlist if you're not familiar on how to create API keys with your exchange account. 
So after you have an exchange connected to Bitscap, you can deploy a grid bot and all you need to do is come over here to the button at the top of the screen that says start new grid bot. Give that a click and the grid bot I will be configuring today will be an S bot. So I just give that a click. Now, before I start to configure this bot, if you want to start in demo mode, you would need to come over here to your user icon, give that a click and you would switch to demo mode. You can see right now demo mode is off. All my stuff is done in live fire. I don't actually do demo mode, but if you're new, you might want to turn this on and start in demo mode. Now, the first parameter you need to configure is going to be your exchange. And in this case, I'm going to start with Binance US. Next, I need to choose what pair I want to trade. And in this case, I can search through a list or actually just put in BTC USDT and that will pull up the pair I want to trade. So I can give that a click. Now that I have my pair selected, remember the two factors I said that play a part in the initial investment amount is the exchange and the grid levels. And so the minimum number of grids I can actually deploy on BTC USDT on Binance US is five and the maximum would be 100. So with that being said, if I put in the minimum, which would be five grids. Now with these parameters set, I could actually do the math and figure out what my initial investment would be considering Binance has a minimum order of $10 per order. That would basically be 10 multiplied by five, multiplied by two. And that would give you a minimum investment amount of 100 USDT. Now, if you don't understand that math or you don't want to try to figure out that math, you can just jump up here to the investment parameter, zero that out, and it will tell you the minimum amount required to start the bot is 100 USDT. And so if I put in 100 USDT, I would now be able to deploy this bot with a minimum investment of 100 USDT. Now, with that being said, if you want to enable the trailing up feature, you could toggle that on. And now the minimum number of grids required is going to bump up from five to 10. So now I need to put in 10 grid levels, which would then require me to double up the amount of the investment, double the grids, double the investment amount. And so this would be 200 versus 100. So if I do 200, that would bring everything back in line and ready to be deployed. So for Binance, even if I change pairs, it doesn't really matter because again, their minimum order amount is $10 across the board. So if I switch over here to ETH USDT and we're looking at those five grid levels, I'm still going to be required to invest a minimum amount of 100 USDT. Again, if I get rid of the amount there, you can see that the minimum to start this bot is going to be 100 USDT. So once again, the minimum initial investment amount to deploy a bot on Binance is going to be 100 USDT. Now, if we switch exchanges and jump over to Qcoin real quick, and we switch our pair back to BTC USDT, the next factor that plays a role in the minimum initial investment amount is going to be our grid levels. And again, we're looking at a minimum of five all the way up to 180. So in this case, I'm gonna drop this down to five. And then for my initial investment amount, I can either do the math that Qcoin pointed out, but I'm guessing most of you are gonna let Bitscap do the math for you. And in this case, you can see that the minimum amount would be 351 USDT. I think I actually have to do whole numbers. So I'm just going to put in four USDT and I would be good to go. I could deploy this bot as it sits with a upper and lower price grid step of about nine and a half percent total grid levels of five and my total amount of ammo I'm giving the spot would only have to be four USDT. That is probably the absolute minimum initial investment required to deploy one of these Bitscap grid bots. Now, in reality, I don't think this minimum amount of four USDT is going to generate enough income on a monthly basis to pay for your Bitscap subscription. So just because you can deploy a bot with four USDT doesn't mean it's actually going to be profitable. But with that being said, 
I'm not saying you have to invest a whole lot of money either. I think these people that say you need to invest $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 in a grid bot, I don't think that's right either. I have a lot of grid bots deployed with 500 USDT, and I've generated a lot of income from those grid bots without investing a large amount of capital. You can actually invest a pretty low amount and still be profitable and cover that BitScap fee at the same time. So with that all being said, I'm hoping I answered your question that a lot of you have been asking on what is the minimum amount required to deploy one of these BitScap grid bots. And on Binance, it looks like it's going to be around $100. And on Qcoin, it really depends on the pair you select and the math required behind that but i can tell you you can deploy grid bots for less than 10 usdt when you're using qcoin on bitscap so that's going to wrap it up if you like this video do me a favor spike a like if you're not already subscribed you might want to shoot that subscribe button if you have questions or comments drop them in the comment section down below i will drop a link to bits gap in the description down below and at the end of the day remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video <laughs>